You are so nice. Welcome to Philadelphia. Welcome to the National Constitution Center. Welcome to the unconvention. Did I overpromise on the view, or is it as great as I said that it was? Honestly, where else could you have a gathering such as this? About a year ago, I had an idea. It occurred to me that the partisans get together on a regular basis, not the least of which is a convention every four years. They put us in this position. What about the rest of us? Like, when do we ever get to hang together and explore the subject matter that most interests us? And so, based only on that germ of an idea, I reserved this space. There was no way that I could ever have pulled off what is about to unfold. I needed partners. I needed the bipartisan policy center. I needed Unite America. And in Jason Grumet, the head of BPC, and Nick Troiano from Unite America, they're the ones responsible for the incredible staging, for the lineup, for the credentialed speakers that you're about to hear. I couldn't be more excited about what's about to unfold. And if all goes according to plan, maybe we'll do it again. So thank you so much for being here. I'll be here all day. I'm looking forward to saying hello, shaking hands, taking pictures, whatever you want to do. And I'll play a role later this afternoon in a, a panel conversation that I'm most eager to lead, focused on the media's role in polarization. And I'll be joined on stage by the former president of CNN Worldwide and the former president of MSNBC. So that ought to be a great conversation. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you soon. Good morning, everyone. And good morning, especially to those who are not from the Eastern time zone. So any hands from people who came from afar? Thank you. Thank you for making the trip to be here. I'm Nick Trano. I lead an organization called Unite America. You're going to hear a little bit more about that uh, later today. You know, there's a saying that there's nothing in the middle of the road except yellow lines and roadkill. But I think we can add to that list a few hundred unconvention delegates as well, both in person and online. And I think that that matters because oftentimes I feel like the political parties and the media feel like ignore us, like we don't exist. But showing up here today I think demonstrates quite the opposite, that the exhausted majority still has some energy to come and demonstrate that there's a group of Americans who may not be all raging centrists, but we're a group of Democrats, Republicans, and independents who have simply had enough. We've had enough of being told that the only way to save America is to bludgeon the other side into submission. You know, this is a group of people who really do believe that you can't love your country if you hate half the people in it. This is a group of people who believe that there's more that brings us together than that divides us. And I think that's the whole spirit of the unconvention here today. We're going to be talking about real solutions, real solutions on elections and on media and on culture and on policy. And so that's what my challenge is for you today. Showing up is one part. The other part is what can we do about it? What ideas can you hear today that you can champion and be part of in your own communities? So thank you for taking those first steps with us. I'm excited to see where we can go together. And uh, with that, I'm really pleased to turn it over to my colleague Jason Grimay at the Bipartisan Policy Center. When Michael Smirkanich had this idea, it was really Jason and his team, his incredible team, that helped bring it all together. So uh, thank you, Jason, and my pleasure. All right. I'm going to try this lab possibility. So, I really want to just say thank you, but not in that like flight attendant thank you, but like in an actual, meaningfully honest, personal way. And that's because about 15 years ago, I started this thing called the Bipartisan Policy Center. The simple notion was that it was both necessary and possible to actually govern a divided country. If you were willing to listen to each other and have strong views and have that kind of constructive collision of ideas that's always made the, the nation work. And so every day, about 150 proud, principled, aggressive Democrats, Republicans, and independents come to our office, smile at each other, 
and basically dig in to try to make the country succeed. It's exhilarating, it's gratifying, and it can be a little lonely. And so we thought, hey, let's, let's see you know, what, it might, what might happen if we worked with Michael and Nick to create this space for people like us to come have a really good constructive argument. We didn't know that it was going to come. In about 15 minutes, oh, about 140 kids, interns from Washington, are going to show up. And we did that for two reasons. We just think this is an awesome opportunity you know, for young people who are interested in DC to come together and have this kind of experience. We also wanted to make sure there'd be some people here <laughs> who couldn't leave, right? Because the bus is not going to leave. And so look, it's just really gratifying to be in a room with you know, people who are committed to our democracy and you know, really understand what it's going to take to make things work. So I thank you. So I have a little, uh, a little treat. Um, at the beginning of a fancy meal, sometimes the chef will provide a little surprise. It's usually a little like, palate cleanser, a little you know, sorbet. I believe it's um, the amuse-bouche. So we're going to spend a lot of time today talking about what divides us, the disassociation of community and otherness. But before we you know, dive into those kind of hard questions, we have the really great opportunity um, to be joined by a pretty nationally renowned philosopher, someone who has really kind of studied the human condition and will just give us a little bit of a foundation that I hope we can work on as the day progresses. So it is my pleasure to um, introduce your amuse-bouche, Don McMillan. Thank you. Thank you. 